guys, so today we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start off with some glute activations. I wanted to make sure that I showed this this video because I never really show it, but you want to activate those glutes before you start working out your butt. Because for me, my hamstrings and my quads want to take over, but this really tells my glutes, it's your time to wake up, like it's your time to shine. So I do five minutes on the Stairmaster, and I just like to do different variations of back kicks and side kicks and cross kicks, just whatever I'm feeling that day. All right, so next we are starting with a superset. This is gonna be a sumo RDL to a squat complex. All right, guys, so you're gonna do 10 of these. So here's the key to these, guys. Make sure that you hinge at the hip as to protect your back, guys. So act like you're sitting down in a chair and then keep those knees slightly bent. And as always, guys, squeeze at the top. You see that squeeze? Yep, it is not optional, it is mandatory. All right, then we're gonna follow those immediately by some of these step up guys. So just grab you some weights and a simple bench and step up 10 times on each leg. Don't forget guys, it's each leg. Don't try to get out of it. So all of that was one set, and we're gonna do this guy four times. Our next superset kicks off with these around the world lunges. Now guys, hear me out. Lunges are so good for the entire leg. So the quads, the hammies, but these around the world lunges attack that side booty like nothing else. Just watching this video, my butt starts to scream again. You're gonna feel it on set one, I promise. And of course, you cannot forget about that other leg, guys. Keep everything balanced. Second exercise in this superset are these pulsing RDLs. So you're gonna go down, you're gonna pulse three times, and then pop back up and squeeze that butt. So this three pulse variation, it really increases the time under tension, which is what we want. This forces the muscles to work much harder, which of course equals maximum booty gain. So all that was one set, and we're going to complete this entire super set four times.
So up next, we have a tri-set, which is the same thing as a superset, but instead of two exercises back to back, it is three. So we're gonna start off with this pulsing sumo squat. Just grab you a Smith machine and do these guys. The same thing with the time of the tension, guys. We want our muscles to really work hard here. Next up are these decline glute bridges. So you're gonna find you a bench, lay on the floor, make sure to get you a mat, those floors are dirty, and then go up to these decline glute bridges. Make sure to keep those knees and thighs pressed against your resistance band to kind of really up this up. And then always squeeze at the top. You will never get out of squeezing at the top, guys. Wrapping up this tricep are these hip abductions. All right, so you're gonna do 50 of these guys, and they hurt, but your side booty and upper booty will thank you. All right, so all that was one tricep, and we're gonna do this tricep three, As you notice here, I put my feet in a more of a frog position, so closer together, and I noticed that that really, really emphasized my glutes more than just those regular decline glute bridges. And these abductions, guys, these are really good for the entire butt, but the side butt is the one that's gonna get attacked the most. All right, guys, so we have this super set. We're doing these pulsing glute Kip backs, okay? So you are going to keep your back parallel to the floor. This is so important because you do not want back pain. All right, we're gonna follow those immediately by some of these weighted cable sumo squats. I just grabbed me one of those easy bars or one of those pre-weighted bars and an ankle strap from Amazon and did these squats. The cable really does keep constant tension on the muscles and as we know, that equals maximum booty gain. So that whole thing was one set. We're gonna complete this for four sets. Make sure you do each leg individually. Alright guys, we're going to end this workout with a burnout. This is our sled push and pull. This really just exhausts the entire muscles of the legs and the butt. So all of it, quads, hams, calves, all the glutes, just everything. You will feel this. This is a great way to end leg day or any lower body day. Okay, so the key here is to pull slowly and get super deep when you're going backwards. I want you guys to go slow and get deep because that really, really increases the range of motion in your butt muscles. And it puts most of the emphasis on your butt as opposed to any of your other leg muscles. So we're just gonna do two of these guys. As you see, by this point, my legs were toast. I wanted to give up so bad, but I had to keep going.
All right, that concludes our video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, lift on, my friends.